How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in this episode of Project BRZ, I'm taking the Solo Spec Coupe 2013 Subaru BRZ around Pocono Raceway for another autocross day. This is gonna be exciting. And I'm here to tell you the five reasons why the BRZ is such a great autocross platform. Stay tuned. All right, the first reason why the BRZ, the FRS, or the 86 is such a great autocross platform is because it's got a limited slip differential. Now, cars have had differentials ever since it needed to make a turn. So it allows the inside wheel to rotate at a different speed than the outside wheel when it's turning. Problem is, there's no torque that's sent through an open differential. You need a limited slip differential for that. That basically sends torque to the wheel that has the least amount of grip. Now, why is that important in an autocross setting? Well, that's because you're making turns and also accelerating at the same time. Now, if you can't send torque to multiple wheels, then you're gonna be going a little bit slower than the other cars that do have limited slip differential. If you're interested to see the difference between a car that has an open differential and a limited slip differential, I took a Bolt EV, that's right, that's an electric vehicle, and I took it autocrossing and compared it against the Volkswagen GTI, which has a limited slip differential. Reason number two why the FT86 is such a great autocross platform is that it's got a front engine, rear wheel drive, and a manual transmission. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Don't get me wrong, front wheel drive cars are also fun to drive at the autocross setting, but it's just a little bit more fun to get the tail end out sometimes. It's not the fastest way of driving, but it's definitely more fun. So reason number three, this car is very easy to drive and it's very easy to find the limits of the car. There's a popular saying out there that it is more fun to drive a slow car fast than it is to drive a fast car slow. The 86 is a relatively slow car, but it's very easy to find the limit. And when you go to an autocross setting, and I suggest you do this if you wanna learn more about your car in a safe environment, definitely take it autocrossing because this is where the car truly shines. You can find the limits of your car safely and when you make a mistake at 50 miles per hour, it's a lot less dangerous than when you're making it at 100 miles per hour. Since the 86 has a rear wheel drive, has more grip than it has power, then it's the perfect platform to learn how to drive fast. And if you wanna learn how to drive fast, take it to an autocross. Reason number four, it's cheap to upgrade the BRZ FRS86 because there are so many of them out there that parts, aftermarket parts, are easy to come by. And if you wanna know a good autocross setup, then I suggest you check out the rest of the playlist and see the conversion where I took a stock BRZ and took it to the Solo Spec Coupe class. The Solo Spec Coupe, the SSC class, it's a spec class for the BRZ and FRS for years 2013 to 2016. Everyone has to run the same equipment. They have to run Falcon and Zenus RT615K Plus tires, and they have to install the Coney Yellows, the Eibach Pro Plus kit, and also the SPC lower control arms. Making those modifications to the car will turn your stock BRZ FRS into an autocross monster. There are better equipment out there, but you could get this package for not too much money and making that conversion again will make the car into a much more capable autocross car. And the last reason why the FT86 is such a great autocross car is because it's also a great daily driver. It's such an amazing feeling to be able to take your car like this morning going to Pocono and race your car for a couple of sessions and then drive back home for about an hour and a half and uh, maintain about 30 miles per gallon. It's a great, reliable daily driver. With the simple modifications that I've done, it maintains that great daily drivability and it does it at not too much cost. So there you have it. That's a quick five reasons why the FT86 is such a great autocross platform. Number one, it's got a limited slip differential, a tours and limited slip differential. Number two, it's a front engine, rear wheel drive, manual transmission. Such a simple but fantastic platform for any types of racing. Number three, it's very easy to find the limit. Again, it's more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow.
Number four, very easy and cheap to upgrade. And number five, it's such a great daily driver. So there you have it. What do you think about the five reasons why the FT86, the BRZ, the FRS, the 86 is such a great autocross platform? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't tuned in to Project BRZ, then please check out the playlist that I'm linking up above here. There's a lot of episodes documenting this entire build and also tracking my autocross progress throughout the many different events. I'm still a work in progress. Becoming a great autocross driver takes a long time and there's a lot to learn. Make sure you watch all the videos that I've linked in the playlist above because there's a lot of great advice from a lot of great drivers out there. And if you're ever in the New Jersey, New York, the tri-state area in Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, please let me know because there's a lot of great autocross events that I'm going to check out. So please let me know if you're ever going to be around. Send us a message at contact at shiftinglanes.com and uh, maybe I'll see you out there. So anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up right there. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching till the very end. If you found this video somewhat helpful or entertaining, please consider giving it a thumbs up and also hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you can get notified anytime we make a new video. There's a lot of stuff going on in the Shifting Lanes channel. We do project cars like this and we also drive a lot of press cars so we review new cars and we also attend a lot of fantastic events so make sure you're subscribed and i want to thank you again for watching so i'll see you next time